Hey, guys, Jim Lux here, back with our blind, not blind, actually, playthrough, our regular, regular playthrough of Star Tropics. So this is chapter eight. We're at the end, basically, but there's, it, it's still pretty hard, actually. So let's, uh, let's go. An illusionary image appears before you. You hear an evil voice. Ha ha, ha ha, I'm the prime invader, Zoda. Come on, try and beat me. You'll be defeated like the Argonians. We'll destroy you. Ha ha, ha ha. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why I'm laughing like that, because it's, it's in the script. Come on, Mike, come on. Your head is aching. You jam bananas in your ears. You shout, get out of my mind, alien scum. Just check in the door. Hurry up and get the gun. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Ooh, doggy. So I think you only have to shoot him once. You just have to be really careful because of that. So Zoda is a shapeshifter. One of the eyeballs usually disappears, just reasons. Noise. Yep. So he scurries off into the dark. So his illusory form, the one that we saw, like, I wonder how much of that is like you fighting him mentally, and then he's like, oh, okay, well, okay, so you've defeated my mind, my psionic attack or something like that. But now, get to keep all the hearts. It's like Contra, kind of. Red, di red guy shooting at you. I mean, you could just keep going. You don't have to... Ah! All right, I think I want to go down here, though. Or not. Okay. All right, I guess we're I guess we're not going to go that way. Wow, this is unexpected. Ow. Ow. Well, so I yeah. All right. Oh, crap, I should have. There's something... There's actually something in there. So it teleports you back here. Which, I mean, it's fine. But there's a... I think there's a gun in there that you want. Wow, that hurts. Okay, that works. Ah, uh, there's too much shooting! You just gotta, uh... All the sprites are... Well, alright. It's okay, well... There we go. Oh man, I should have gotten the vitamin after. Because I'm gonna leave and then come back in and then we're gonna... Oh, that's three potions. Okay. Oh, strange. The enemies are gone. I figured they'd come back, but no. Oh, 
Uh, I was gonna jump, but I, I guess I pressed it too slow. Yeah, the potions... Uh. Yeah, potions aren't helpful, so they give you three of them, which makes sense. Okay, stop. Run! Run away! Man! thing heals itself. Um, got it. Now the question is... Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, you dicks. It's, it's easier when we go up a little bit, so let's do that. Because it narrows where they're coming from. Ooh, that was close. Let's, let's, ooh, yeah. All right. There we go. Kind of like the, uh, you know, right before Sigma in Mega Man X. It's just a way to... Almost. Alright, final boss. Don't touch him or you will die. Oh, baby. Watch out. Slow and steady wins the race. Mm, don't touch me. Ouch. Is he dead? Yep. See, that's why that gun is... Amazing. I didn't really think it would be this fast, to be honest. Yeah, really... Wow, you've done it! Yeah, I really didn't think it would be this fast. Um, but it's probably not worth... Uh, maybe it's worth adding it to the next... To the end of the previous episode? I don't know. We'll see. It might be only... 15 minutes? the episode, so... The spaceship is starting to explode. Hurry! Get the last magic cube! I assume it doesn't, uh... You have no time! Get the last magic cube! It's not... I don't, I don't think there's an actual timer, but... I do like how everything is, like, broken once you destroy the power core, and Zoda's like... I, I think he's just like, whatever, dude. You're not... If I can kill you, I'll get the magic cubes, and then it'll be alright, one way or another. I'll rebuild the ship. Alert! Alert! You have no time! 
You've got the last magic cube. You shout, I've got it. But now what do I do? There goes the ship. And we got some sort of escape pod, which is nice. But now we're in the middle of the ocean. Except he can't swim. That's why he dies whenever he falls underwater. But the dolphin saved us. I don't know if that's the boy or mom dolphin. But we're back. Victory! And the... The sea submarine, subsea, is back. Coral Cola. Welcome back to Coral Cola. Congratulations. You notice the pig is gone? They talked about making a dinner. Mike, you rescued Dr. J, didn't you? That's Radicola. Can I, uh... I can't go through here, right? Who are you? Stay away from here. Haha, ha, I'm just kidding you, Mike. I guess the shaman is at our chief's hut. Okay, this is the shaman's hut. Still, we're gonna talk to everybody. Where do you come from, Spacey Cola? Dr. J has already returned, and he's waiting for you. Oh, you are fantastic. Oh, thanks. Mike, wanna go fishing? Have you mastered the ABCs of fishing? They never said what they were, but that's okay. I have to hurry, I'm gonna roast a pig for your victory party. Yep, there's no pig anymore. I hear you cream Zoda. Mike, show me how to use a yo-yo sometime. Mike, it's me, Miss Coral. You look totally cool, except for those bananas. That's funny. Welcome back to Coral Cola. Congratulations. You got Babu. Mike, it's me, Babu. Let's celebrate with some cola. You drink it and feel much better. I like that. Hi, Mike. You've done it. Thank you. I know. All right, into the chief's hut. Mike, you've returned. Oh, you have the three magic cubes. Oh yeah, I don't think I... Did I mention that the, the reactor, like, heals if you don't damage it fast enough? You gotta be pretty aggressive. I think I, I think I did mention that, but yeah. I knew you could do it. The monsters have disappeared from the islands. Mike, our island is forever indebted to you. Now, I assume, I never, I guess I never picked up on this as a kid, but I assume they were under mind control from Zoda. Navcom here, Captain. Circuits indicate success. Circuits indicate success. Mike, you've done it. And she's still like, beware. Danger. You're just life and limb. I know you almost gave up on your quest, but I'll tell all you battled like a hero under the Southern Cross. Not bad for a vacation. Uh, uh. <laughs> I still have some coffee left. Now, Mike, let's join the three magic cubes together. You join the three magic cubes. Obab, oh, Uma Uma, Obab. Oh, Is there a magic spell? No. So I think they're supposed to be spinning, but, well. They're transforming! Something is happening! And there's the bass line. So this is the fixed music track. This is the second of two that is fixed. 
Wow, they're kids. Who are they? Oh, that one speaks. Listen. Oh, just, just real fast. I... I actually prefer the track without the bass, because it makes it sound more... Makes the kids feel more vulnerable. Right? It's like a... Because they're all alone. They're the last of their civilization. But... The... For me, the bass... It's, it's the same bass line that's in the... The ruins. You know, so it, it makes sense. Hi, I'm Princess Micah, daughter of the Argonian leader, Hirokan. We seven boys and girls are the last beings from the planet Argonia. Twenty years ago, when our planet was about to be destroyed, we were placed in the time-frozen magic cubes and sent to this planet. Our planet no longer, uh, no longer exists, but will not cry for the past. My father, Hirokan, told me to live in peace with the people of planet Earth. We don't live in peace with each other, though. You speak to her. Hi, I'm Mike. We'll find you a home. Mike, you saved more than cubes. You saved a whole race from extinction. Yeah, it's like a huge scale. It's like this tiny little adventure, and then all of a sudden it becomes like this huge big deal. Micah, many kids live on islands. I know the chief will welcome you here. Oh, seven boys and girls, welcome all of you. It's your new home. Ugh. You'll be happy living here under the Southern Cross. Okay, tonight is the party. It will be a great feast for all. We're... I know it's coming. We are pleased. You are so kind. I'm hungry. Is that a banana cream pie? Oh, Bananette. You have a new friend. You speak to them. Hey, anybody want to go fishing? Did I, did I speak that properly? I think I just mumbled my words, but it's alright. Let's go! And see, they're going out to... Going out to fish. credits. So it's nice that it zooms out, because it's like, oh, it's... You, you know, the whole race. It's it's not just about adventure in, you know, islands. It's like a space adventure, too. Man, and look how many people programmed it. You know what I mean? Like, not many. Like, 20 people. And then these little, like... Images of, uh... Of your adventure. Like, the sea serpent looks really scary there. And I like this. It's like a little photo album of your adventures. You get to relive it. The octopus. You're, like, smacking it in the face with a yo-yo. Baby dolphins. Creepy graveyard. Yep. I think that's Maxi. The big ghost is Maxi, and the little ones are minis. I didn't know what this was for the longest time, and then it's like, oh, that's when he became a girl using magic or you know I guess they just magically changed his clothes or something a uh, banana cream pie even that even that's fantastic you're like swimming through a giant whale giant fish whatever there's the letter Peter the Parrot. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess that uh, Indiana Jones run, running from the balls 
boulders, whatever, traps. Makes sense. It's not quite... I mean, maybe Uncle Steve is like Indy's brother or something, or a distant relative. Uh, I do wish there was more underwater stuff with the sub, though. Yep. Scary aliens. They actually do... I mean, here they don't look super great, but... You know. And then... Kind of gross. Kind of gross and grotesque. R very graphic. You know, for like a kid's game. Oh, there's the bananas. Bananas in the ears. Does it stay on this? I think it does. I think you have to reset it to get to uh, back to the title screen or whatever. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. We'll click. We'll click a button. We'll click a couple buttons. Anything? Anything? Nope. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. I'm probably going to have this as its own episode just, just because. Um, I prefer to graft it onto the previous one, but eh, it's, it's 20 minutes. So, you know. Um, plus if people want to go back and, and listen to the theme, even though I'm kind of talking over it, it's like, you could, you could do that. Just remember, you could fix it yourself if you have a, a ROM. Um, I'll, I'll try and include the link in the description for that, uh, that guy's YouTube video that says how to do it or explains what's going on. It's actually a pretty good little video. It, um, I mean, you know, better than probably, I mean, I gave the rough version, but it's, it's a more in-depth explanation and it's the dude that actually fixed it so definitely go check out his video give it a like um and then if you're interested he's got the, the little things to to do it he even has a patcher on his um on his website you just drag the rom drag the patcher file and you might have to do it a couple times like i said this one since i'm using mesen um it's uh it needs the mapper fix as well so i had to i had to patch the music thing and then i had to patch it again with the mapper fix um and that worked so i had to patch it like twice uh but not all emulators need it right so try the music fix first and then um if that doesn't work for me it was just silence it like completely muted any sound uh and you'll know it doesn't work when it does that. So, uh, but yeah, like I said, thanks so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Star Tropics was one of my favorite games as a kid. It's it's still, I think it, I mean, for a game that's 1990, so you're talking 30 years old, uh, it's still fun. I, I think it still holds up. It's a little, the controls take a little bit of getting used to because of the whole, you have to hold the directional button to move rather than or you can kind of just like turn in place um feels a little stiff as a result of that but i like it i think it works especially with uh jumping across the tiles and able to like turn and and shoot you know while mid jump while still maintaining the direction of your jump i think that's a, a really neat idea uh the sequel i i didn't play it as a kid i played it I don't know, 10 years ago, something like that. It's, I mean, it's like, well, how do you, how do you keep the same scale when you've basically saved an entire alien race? It's like, well, let's do time travel then. And so it doesn't quite, and it's Star Tropics 2. The whole name Star Tropics comes from, you go to the tropics, but it's an alien adventure in the tropics. You know, you don't think time travel when you hear Star Tropics, you know. 
So, yeah, I mean, but, you know, whatever. The first one's good. I like it. Second one, not so much. It's probably still a good game. Just uh, doesn't have the same love in my heart that I do for this one. So, uh, but that's it. Questions, comments, concerns, good, better, and different. As always, let me hear them. I do read all of them. I assuming I'm told. Uh, and I do try and respond to all of them, although it usually takes me a few days, uh, either due to being insanely busy with work or or laziness. Um, if you like the video, if you watch it all the way to the end, please give me a like, leave a comment. Tell me, tell me your guys' experience with the game, uh, if you played it as a kid or even as an adult. That's something that I'm really curious about. Like how people that come across this, these games like as an adult, I know a lot of people don't, um, it takes a while to get respect for older stuff. Um, most, you know, as I said in my drunken rant a couple episodes ago, most people are mentally children. Uh, and, and as a result, they don't appreciate, they just don't have the life experience, right? So if, if you play a lot of video games, oh, here comes a kitty then I think that gives you the the breadth of experience to go back to stuff. Like if you've watched a lot of movies, you might be like, you know what? I've never watched a lot of black and white movies or silent films or or whatever. Let's let's go see some of those. Let's see if I can find some good ones. And I think having that experience, um, you coming up here, Manny? I think having that experience lets you enjoy stuff. If you're you know, if you're a Zoomer or whatever, and I mean that in the derogatory way, uh, and, and just don't have a lot of experience with games, someone showing you this, you're going to be like, that's stupid. It's Look at how old is this? It pixels? What are pixels? Or, or whatever, you know? Um, so I just don't think people would be able to appreciate it in the same way, unless, you know, unless they have a lot of games under their belt. I don't know. It's the reason, one of the reasons I started this channel was to experience all sorts of different games that I normally would not have. And it's been fantastic in that regard. Um, you know, I got to, like the uh, Terra Enigma, for example, finally got to play that. I mean, that was okay. The hype, that, that's kind of the problem is you, you come across these games and um, people are like, oh my god, Chrono Trigger's the best game of all time. And then, you know, a modern gamer going back and playing it, they'd be like, yeah, okay, it's fine. Because it's like the grandfather of certain things. If you didn't hear anything about it and you're, um, like this game, if you didn't hear anything about it and you're just randomly like, oh, let me play some old Nintendo games. And then you're like, wow, this is actually pretty fun. Or at least that's the hope, right? Uh, not hearing about it, not having the hype. You know, setting expectations kind of screws you over playing older stuff. Uh, that's why for me, Terra Negba was, it was okay. It was fine. Uh, probably if I had played it back in the day, it would have been amazeballs, but playing it these days, it's like, I can appreciate it. And there were certain moments like the goat where I was just like, oh, oh, poor baby. But um, like it really stuck with me emotionally. But um, yeah, yeah. So great game, one of my favorites. Uh, let me know what you guys think. What is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, I'm going to go with, well, unfortunately, what I usually say at the, the final episode of any playthrough, which is, the game itself. Uh, I haven't played it for probably 20 years. You know? And um, I had a good time. I, I still remember a lot of stuff because I played it, you know, several times back then, but, um, but not everything. You know? Still had difficulty with certain parts. And uh, yeah, just the fact that we got the music fixed and we got to hear some of those tracks, like that's that's great. That's fantastic. Uh, so that's my unique puzzle moment. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Tell the guys. Take care.